Hello and welcome to the Sunday Night Stream. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at a new release, World of Horror. Technically not a new release just yet, it is in pre-release beta, it's an early access game. Uh, based on the Steam description, it's a love letter, a love letter to uh, Junji Ito and, um, and HP Lovecraft. If anyone's ever read, uh, I know it went viral a few years ago, if anyone's ever read the, uh, the Enigma at Amagara Fault um, from the manga Gyo. Uh, very much in that style. The gameplay is very much a turn-based RPG uh, roguelite, so you can start and end um, a run within a matter of, of an hour or so, and uh, from what I understand. Um, but let's get... Let's get started taking a look. This is my first, first jump in here. Let's see. Let's make sure that the screen's going to line up just a sec. First time capturing it too. So let's get that to fit to screen. There we go. There are many color palettes and display modes to choose from. I like the idea of two bit over one bit. That way we get at least like one other color. And let's just stick with this color for right now. Let's not... Let's not randomize? Or maybe it will randomize? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Whoa. Weird face. If that's your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with the spine-chilling story of school scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. Okay, so they have complexity listings here. Quick plays, customize playthrough. Ooh. Freaky. Extracurricular activity. Yeah, we'll start with this. A tiny section of a standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mystery. Oh, just one. Okay, well, I mean, for a let's look at portion. But if we decide to keep playing tonight, then maybe we'll do some more. Uh, just a sec here. There we go. Welcome to the world of horror. Welcome to world of horror. Important messages will appear here. So I'm going to have to get used to the UI since everything is only a couple of colors. There's not a lot to draw your eye to one direction or another. May 1984, the story so far. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time and you can't rest until your town is safe. Start the mystery, combat tutorial on. Just for this one. Oof. Spine chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave, a woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that can happen? Sure, we'll investigate this mystery. School's eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope for your friend. Oh, you can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Access your storage, explore the school, perform the ritual, check out school lockers. What else do we have over here? Items, spells, status, options. What about status? No status. Options, those are the same. Items. No weapon, nothing, nothing. Storage, the friend's diary. So I've taken the friend's diary out. I was hoping I could like read it or something, but... Okay. Let's start by exploring the school. 
you've run into Jim Doll. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Come closer. Needs an anatomy class perk. Oh, okay. So if we don't have a certain perk. Come closer. Yee. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. Minus two reason. Okay, what are our stats here? We have 17 stamina, 7 strength, 5 dexterity, 8 perception, 15 reason. So I guess that's like our sanity. 7 knowledge, 6 charisma, uh, 4... I think that's funds, if I remember correctly. And then Doom, 1%. Okay. Resolve this event. Blessed Chalk, not found. Holy Candles, not found. So that's keeping up with that for us. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. So I guess we just keep taking turns looking around the school if we can. I don't know what the difference would be with the school lockers, but let's look at explore the school again. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one stamina. Yeesh. Something evil stalks the empty school corridors. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left in the pool. You must hurry and find it. Okay, something evil is stalking in the corridor, so now we can peek outside. Or we just wander out, I guess, if we don't peek. Uh, okay, let's peek outside. The friend's diary is blinking over here too, so I'll take a look at that in a second. To open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse with the mouse button pressed. Oh, nope. 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 <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's look at the friend's diary. This sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. So it looks like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pointed star with two circles. Maru is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow, I'll try to perform the ritual. Wait, one second. What was the other additional information about the item? I hope they're okay. Okay, that's about it. But, so now we know that the candles are in a classroom and the chalk was by the pool. Can we leave? I mean, this thing's out here. Oh, okay. You enter the damp smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you're looking for? Enter the water is the only option. You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. Prepare for combat. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Blah. Okay, this is a tutorial. During each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. B. Down, down here. Once you've filled the, the sequence bar, C, press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Okay. So we have kick. Is that it? We just have kick? Kick, 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 kick. We don't have like anything else that we can do. Maybe because we're in the pool. Build a combat sequence with moves and click launch sequence. And we punched. They attacked me. They gargled and murmured. Okay, we have other options now. Kick. Needs an equipped weapon. Needs an equipped weapon. Needs a firearm. Prepare your attack. Next attack is guaranteed to hit if you prepare an attack. Attack boost. Your next attack has an additional 10% chance to hit. This effect stacks. Okay, so let's uh, attack boost, kick, attack boost, kick, attack boost, kick. Let's try that.
With time, you'll discover new combat moves available through the action filter, but first you need a weapon. Find and choose an action called look for an improvised weapon. Oh, okay. So I guess before we do this, let's clear that. It's flashing here. Look for an improvised weapon. Improv. We're going to yes and them. Actually, let's clear that. Look for an improvised weapon. Prepare. And then kick. I found a branch. I punched. They hit me. Seems like we're okay for now. We have a branch now. Chance to hit 70. Fast to equip. One-handed. Equip it. Okay, so now let's do the same attack boost. Attack with the weapon. Can we do that twice? We can. Can we get a can get a kick in there? Okay, that's fine. Watch. Bash them, and they attacked me again. Okay, we're losing stamina. I wish that was listed down here. It looks like just the amount that we hit them for is listed. So we kind of just have to keep up with what we have left. Once so we have defensive actions, spiritual actions. Clap. Part of a ritual, most combat rituals are a combination of five bows and claps. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. Bow, pray. Okay. Defensive actions, run away. Meditate, brace for impact. But meditate regains one reason, costs two stamina. Brace for impact lowers the incoming damage by half and ignores any special attack. That takes a lot of time. Dodge. Drastically lowers the enemy's chance to hit. Let's dodge. Prepare and attack. I dodged the attack, and they disappeared underwater. So the combat's still going. Let's do the same thing. Get a dodge ready. And then a good attack. I still bash them. Oh, we're down to six, though. I'm bloated? Ugh. Something is moving inside your stomach. I feel sick. Well, lovely. I mean, we're dodging a lot. We could probably have the thing over by now if we kept attacking. You defeated Bloated Teacher, plus seven experience. Well, what do we start with? We're down to six stamina. You found Blessed Chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Redraw sigil. So it was... It was two circles, and then a seven-pointed star. Yeah, it was that. So we need to- we still need to find the candles. Guess we explore the school. With our scratched up face. You find an old trophy case set in seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Is the thick dust inside the trophy case? We don't have a tiny key. Break the window to grab it. Check plaques and trophies. Something tells me if we break the window. I'm gonna play cautiously because if we break the window we might get hurt. Check the plaques. Luck check success. Huh, it seems the person involved with the current case was a prize-winning swimmer. Five experience. We're still bloated. What did it do to us? It just says we feel sick. It doesn't actually have like a stat change. Gross. You found the scissors. Oh, sorry. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Dooms at 4%. <clears throat> Explore again. Corridor. You're stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months. 
but how could you? She died in an accident. Stalker girl. Okay, um... Let's just attack with the weapon. Can we get off three? We can't, but we can kick. Miss, miss, punch. She regained health by biting me. We still have the, the branch. Just going all in on attacks. Miss, bash, kick, Got bit again. It's not going well for us, but again, we are just playing a short mission, so I'm hoping that we can power through. She regained health again. She's got eight. She damages one of everything. Can I just, well, okay, we've only got three left. Let's, let's get cautious again. Let's dodge. All right, you know what? Let's clear that. Let's guarantee a hit. And attack twice. Minus three, minus three. She's only got three left. Guarantee a hit. There we go. And let's make sure we can dodge. Oh, there's not enough room for a dodge. Um, let's... Can't block. We don't have something to block with. We don't have two stamina to spend. We'll get another attack in, I guess. Okay, we got her first. Seven experience. Where can we see how close we are to a level? Oh. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. And right, let's perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? <laughs> oh, you take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall woman-like creature with three faces all connected by a wide smile. Now it's your chance to fight and defeat the horror. It's also your only chance. We only have two stamina left. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? No. Yikes. Alright, so we have to be super careful. I mean, she's probably gonna kill us. Let's... I guess let's always dodge. If we can. I didn't say that was guaranteed, did it? I don't know. Then attack boost and hit with the stick. I guess we could have prepared a little bit better. I dodged the attack. So yeah, let's just keep doing that. See how that turns out for us? It was a strong attack. Do we have enough room for, like, how big is that? She has 17 health. Strong attack could do four damage, so if we get her down to four, we'll do a guaranteed hit with that. Okay, dodge. Does it say a chance? Lowers the hit chance of the enemy, gotcha. Bashed her. Frozen in fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you, Am I beautiful? <laughs> You've perished. Killed by the scissor woman. Level one. With a branch. Your playthrough lasted 16 minutes, 36 seconds. In this run, you didn't complete any mystery. You saw four new events. You encountered three new enemies. You didn't unlock any new achievements. Okay. So it does appear that there are some pretty cool unlockables, or maybe not unlockables, but like completionist lists of events. Let's take a look. No achievements, events codex, trophy case, anatomy class, dead man's float, gym doll, 
Pantheon. I don't know anything about these things. Oh, this must be like something you can find out, like a code. Well, that's neat. Explore the vast cosmos and learn about things older than time. Event editor, that's cool. Enemy bestiary. Scissor woman, stalker girl, bloated teacher. And then like hidden stuff. Okay. Let's let's give it like an actual playthrough a try. 